مش بتعرف تركن اصلا واحده ست بلاش رغي كتير بقى زي الستات استرجل المتعايدش زي البنات Haven't we all heard these before? I definitely have But I'm here today to stop these sexist comments we hear on a daily basis I'm going to be talking about feminism And please, this is, this is not the typical feminist talk Just hear me out First, I asked a question I went around school and asked people what do they think feminism means Most of them said that feminism means the belief that women are better than men Actually, no. Feminism means the belief that men and women should have equal rights and opportunities. It does not mean men should be put down in order for women to rise above. I also asked another question about sexism. Most of them didn't know what it meant, but sexism means prejudice and discrimination based on sex, especially discrimination against women. Although we are now in 2017, Sexism is still very widely accepted all over the world. It led to people normalizing very upsetting gender roles, like women are to stay at home without jobs, doing nothing but cooking, cleaning, and feeding, and raising the kids. Men don't cook or help their wives in cleaning. Men are these beings with no emotion. And only women can cry, and they cannot be physically well-built. We stereotype gender. We we stereotype genders in very weird ways that don't make any sense at all. Why do we view women as the symbol of weakness and men as the symbol of power when society is functioning because of both sides working together? As a child, I was picked on a lot because most of my friends were girls. I remember that one incident. I was in second grade. It was at that age where guys hated girls. I was sitting with my best friend and these two guys kept following us around to tease me and get me on their side. Sadly, the pressure got to me, and I eventually started to pretend uh, to hate girls just to stop the teasing. Luckily, though, thanks to good influences, I realized that I was never like that, and I became the person that I am now. I also recently have been made fun of for wearing friendship bracelets on my leg, but me being the person that I am now, it doesn't affect me, and I keep wearing them because I want to. Feminism has taught me a lot of things, but two main principles that I live by are these. To respect people for the people they are and not their gender. And second is to express myself in any way I want, even if what I want to do does not abide by the stereotypes. I have an idea. Girls and women here today, try this. Let your dads or husbands take care of everything at home for a week. Spoiler alert, it won't be the same. Sorry, Dad. I know a lot of powerful women in my life, like my mother. She could do a hundred, hundred tasks all at the same time. I've seen her in action, and I just sit there watching in awe. I can never concentrate on that much stuff. Another example is my aunt. Her father passed away when she was young, so she had to help my grandmother raise my mom and uncle. Bottom line is, we should stop, uh, we should stop treating both genders as different beings. We should, we should actually treat them like people and humans. They are people with different personalities. The only, difference, the only difference is their sex. So we should stop saying stuff like sweats at death, stargel, zairgela. We should start saying instead of should zairgela, should zair Ronaldo. Because he is a good football, uh, because he is a good football player. Not because he's a man. We could also say, should say me ham, because there are women who play football who are good. So, instead, instead of waiting for someone to come into in the future to change everything for us, we could start by ourselves. We have the power to change now instead of waiting. Future is now. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>